Hello, fabulous Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. This is one incredible month. There are big celestial events taking place in the sky, the full moon and the new moon only, bringing them that much more to the surface. And this is especially true for you. It is going to be right around the 8th of the month that we will have a powerful full moon, a super moon at that. And this full moon is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your relationship to financial institutions. It is also connected to your understanding of personal change and personal transformation. It is truly a powerful time and what will be happening just in the days leading up to this full moon is Jupiter meeting Pluto in the sky. Now these two planets are dancing throughout the year, but this is the first of three exact meetings in the sky. And what I'm seeing here is motivation, desire to secure funding on the one hand. Now you are certainly not unique in that experience or alone in that experience considering world events and where a lot of us are right now with the changes that are taking place. But there is a special motivation on your part, whether it is that you're connecting with friends, connecting with groups, trying to figure out how to make it come together. It is going to be now that you're reaching out for advice or some inspiration or practical steps forward. Now, the thing is, when we have such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. You just do need to take the steps to show up for it, even when it's hard, even when it isn't easy. And friends, well intended, can take you in all kinds of directions. So just be aware of that. At the end of the day, trust your instincts because they will likely spur you into action in a moment to help you along the way and to help you along this route. But remember, when we have strong financial energy, as I always say, it means that you may need to take additional steps or be mindful of what you're doing, but ultimately the money you need is there. And what I really love is in the days leading up to this uh, particular full moon, we have Mercury in your sign speaking in harmony with Jupiter, speaking in harmony with Pluto. And what that tells me is you are motivated. You are speaking to others along your journey. You're understanding what paperwork needs to be filled out. And that motivation in and of itself is going to ensure that you turn things towards your favor that much more. It is as we navigate later into the month, right around the 23rd is when we will have this month's new moon. This new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with communication, documentation, negotiation, contracts. It also has to do with siblings, cousins, and neighbors as well. Now, this particular uh, new moon is happening hand in hand with Uranus and also speaking in a conversation of tension with Saturn now in the sign just before yours. So just on one level, it's important to pay attention to what is happening in your life because this connection between Uranus and Saturn that is being awakened by this new moon, well, it will perfect in 2021. In fact, it'll be a key characteristic once these planets start dancing in perfection once we get into 2021. So in some way, this new moon will provide a glimpse into what the larger lessons may be for you in the fullness of time. But for now, and coming back to this moment, I want to say this. It is possible that siblings, cousins, and neighbors behave in ways that surprise you, that feel limiting, that may feel disappointing. I'm so sorry to say, but it does happen at times like this. But yes, it could really be a surprise the way in which uh, you feel like certain people are behaving. You don't have to make it about you. It may not even directly be related to you but it is something to keep in mind here. The other part of this energy, of course, has to do with those conversations, communications you may have, the desire to figure out the right documents that you need to submit or fill out or the contracts that you need. This may be very much coming to the surface now and it may feel especially urgent, if you will. Now, you will find the right things that you need to do, the right connections, the right communications, okay? But take it one step at a time. 
knowing that the resources you need are going to be there. The information you need is going to be there. It requires that you trust the process. And again, trust your intuition. It'll spur you into action very quickly. And when you find the right answers, it'll be like a light bulb that allows you to enter a flow that much easier as well. Collectively, we are all going through a time of reflection and contemplation. We are being asked to reflect on the lives that we've had. We're giving a chance to ourselves to understand the best pathway forward to ensure it aligns with heart. Now for you, this is a process of thinking to ensure it aligns with the thoughts, the ideas, and your unique voice in the world and what that's going to be. It is especially around this new moon that it is going to attempt to be that much more clear. What needs to change? Where it is that gratitude could set in more deeply, but also where it is now that you are seeing things differently so that you can't go back to the way things were before and that now there's a part of you that desires a different path. Well, that is gonna to start to be felt that much more personally, that much more acutely around this new moon. Make sure you are keeping a journal, you're brainstorming, you're jotting down your ideas because I tell you, they are touching on brilliance now. Now, where it comes to matters of love, a few things to keep in mind. One is right around the 10th of the month, Venus will go into shadow next month going retro. Yes, the beginning of the larger Venus retrograde season. That's going to take us right to the beginning of July. And Venus is going to be in the same part of the sky right into the summer, an unusually long time. This Venus retrograde season will be spent with Venus moving through the very foundation of your chart having to do with your past. And so if anyone is likely to have interactions with lovers and partners from the past, it certainly is you. I will talk a lot more about this in the Venus retrograde special horoscope. So be on the lookout for that in the first part of April. But I did want to mention it now because yes, Venus is going to move here in the first days of the month. And this is going to be some insight into where you've been in love and why. At the same time though, Mars also having to do with passion is moving through the sign just before yours. Now that can speak to an inner drive, an inner desire to connect and you feel kind of restless with that. The other love related energy this month, well, that has to do with the full moon happening in a part of the sky that in addition to the things I mentioned, finances and personal change and personal transformation, well, it is also connected to profound intimacy as well. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, right about now, lots of connections are being made, mostly in the online sphere, right? But I am going to invite you to consider that this may be a time when there is such a desire to connect with another person in a meaningful way, and that there are ways in which you can connect meaningfully. But when I look at Mars placement, I look at Uranus and that active Uranus, it tells me that what may be presented to you, what you think you're getting may actually be something very different and that's okay. You can take any interaction for what it's worth. But I usually say under normal circumstances, when I see energy like this, I say that person that you're on a first date with or a second date with or a third date with, that person is not your therapist. Um, and that's something to keep in mind with this energy. But of course, we're in unusual times. And if you feel like you want to feel that connection, you want that intimacy, it may have you skipping over certain steps in order to have that with someone that maybe you don't know that well just yet. And then when you do get to know them better, well, that may be part of the surprise. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, I feel like that full moon uh, right around the 8th is going to be a real moment of clarity, a real moment where you're being honest with yourself about how you really feel about this person and whether or not this is authentic or real. You will know, you'll have that moment where it feels as if there's been a wake up within you. And by the time we get to the days around the full moon, you're having an understanding, is this person for you or not? Is this real or not? And if it isn't, you're ready to let it go. But if it is, this could be a time of a depth of connection that you feel with this person.
For those of you who are in an established bond, keep in mind that full moon may play itself out in the context of your partner's uh, finances or their income. There may be some evolution or changes on that front. That may be part of what helps you to bring uh, financial uh, security into your life at this time. But at the same time, this is about knowing each other more deeply, uh, sharing a bond more deeply. I would invite you to consider where it is that maybe you want to ensure you are protecting your relationship from the influence of others, like friends, for example. But for all that, this can be a time where the two of you are learning about each other more deeply in a way that does solidify the bond. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there is a lot here, but I love that full moon for how it reminds you that there is a generous universe that has your back with energy like this, emotional wealth, spiritual wealth, and literal wealth is highlighted here, and you are cared for. And that is going to be an appreciation that comes right to the surface in ways that may make you feel vulnerable at this full moon. And yet it is a necessary vulnerability. It is a vulnerability that reminds you how connected you are to others. And that regardless of how much is uncertain now, you truly will be okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month, enjoy.